Welcome back to NB Media and Content. In today's video, I will be featuring the Mercedes AMG EQE 53, and I'm gonna take you on a tour. I'll be going through the exterior, interior, and talk to you about its options, specifications, and then we are going to drive it. Let's start off with a few key things you need to know about the EQE. It is the battery powered equivalent to the E-Class and the price for the EQE starts from around 141,000 Australian dollars and it rivals with the Porsche Taycan and the Audi e-tron GT. However, the AMG EQE 53 is listed from around 242,000 Australian dollars. But you do get a lot of things standard like rear axle steering, airmatic air suspension, AMG Napa leather interior, and a performance dual motor drivetrain with 500 kilometers of range, 460 kilowatts, and a zero to 100 time in 3.5 seconds. And before we get started, I'd like to thank Tarnan Mercedes-Benz, and I'm with the EQ specialist, Steve Chillis. Steve, tell me about the business. Fantastic, thanks Nick. We've been in business here in the Shire for over 50 years. We've got a fantastic sales team, and. Uh, we, we specialise in EQ vehicles. Perfect, let's continue on with the tour. Let's go. Let's talk about the exterior design. You get digital headlights like what you get on the latest generation S-Class, the most advanced headlight system on any car on the market. It's very hard to show you on camera what they actually do as a benefit. And up front we have the AMG specific radiator grille that looks very nice on the EQE. Moving on to the side, we have the 21-inch Y-spoke alloy wheels. You can either have it in matte black or the two-tone finish. And if you're really into your performance, you can upgrade the brakes to ceramic, which will really improve your stopping ability. And if we come around the rear, we have a light bar, LED lights, and a rear diffuser. And overall, there are 10 colors to choose from, free of charge, and for additional cost special paint options you can equip the car with. And the overall design is very similar to the EQS. It's designed to look like this for aerodynamics and efficiency. And what comes standard on the 53 variant is the night package. So that includes the gloss black trim elements on the front bumper bar, the wing mirrors, the side, and the rear bumper bar, and AMG exterior body styling. And when you climb inside the EQE, you're embraced in a world of digital luxury. It looks very modern compared to other EVs on the market where they look a little bit basic, but this just looks very luxurious, very similar to the EQS. And some of the key features specific to this model, you have the exclusive Napa leather seats, the AMG leather wrapped steering wheel and the dynamic drive pods down here. And it also features nice materials on top of the dash, this nice open pour wood, suede materials, it all just feels very luxurious. However, exclusive to the 53 AMG variant of the EQE, you get the hyper screen. So you have a central display, a passenger display, and a driver's display, which you can control uh, through a few shortcut buttons here on the steering wheel and on the central screen. So I'm gonna guide you through it, starting with the MBUX system. It features a 17.7 .7 inch touchscreen display running the latest software MBUX 2.0. As you can see, this is very intuitive. Everything responds as it should, thanks to the haptic feedback. So when you click on a tile, it actually feels like you're pushing a button. We'll start with navigation. Just look how easy it is to zoom in and out and just look at the definition. And if we go into the phone settings, as you can see, you can connect two mobile phones to the Bluetooth system. And it also features wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. We've got active distance assist, steering assist, collision avoidance with active lane keeping assist, blind spot assist and brake assist, traffic sign, traffic light view and attention assist. And for the parking, if I just flick it into reverse, as you can see it features a 360 camera with multi angle views. You could also move around the car manually and really get up close. As you can see, we're in the performance center. I could actually see the floor and just look at the graphics, how clear that is. And by using the drive pod on the steering wheel, you can control the dynamic select from slippery, individual, comfort, sport, and sports plus. Now moving on to the front, we have a 31.2 inch display for the passenger and to control it, you have to be in the front seat. It features the same functions like you get with the center screen. So you could control the navigation, the settings, look at the charging information, operate the phone, the radio, air conditioning and the comfort. We move to the front of the car which features a 12.3 inch digital display and with the touch sensitive controls on the steering wheel you can customize the layout of the screen 
For example, I'm going to go into Classic. You could also choose what you want displayed on your windscreen. It's pretty hard to show this on camera, but in real life it looks very amazing, very crisp and clear, and it's not distracting at all. Now let's move on to practicality. If I just push this hidden button, we have a large glove box, we've got a large center storage area, and another hidden storage area here underneath the wood with a wireless phone charger, two cup holders, and just down the bottom here, more storage. And in total in this section here, there are six USB-C charging ports. And as you can see in the back seats, I've got plenty of room for my feet, knees, and headroom. Plenty of storage as well with large size bottle holders on the doors. I've got an armrest with a mobile phone holder and cup holders and some mat pockets on the seats. I've got automatic climate control, air conditioning vents. The EQE features a conventional sedan boot lid rather than a fastback shape like what you get on the EQS. And the overall cargo volume is 430 litres, which is pretty reasonable for the size. And if you require more space with a push of a button, you can fold the seats down. Oh, it feels incredible. Yeah. Very smooth. And the air suspension too, you can hardly feel any bumps. That's right. And we're at the moment we're on a concrete road, which is normally quite harsh in our regular vehicles, but uh, not in this one. All our EQs are all made in Germany and, and uh, in new... Like the S-Class, actually, like, yeah. Like the S and the E-Class, um, and, and you can see the difference. And it has a lot of technology, but everything's easy to use. And considering this has low profile wheels, you just can't feel a bump and the seats are extremely comfortable. That's right. So if you dial it up to Sport, yep. what, what does that do exactly? Obviously it puts the dynamic select into more sportier functions so the throttle response will be a little bit different. Yes, holds the gears a bit longer as well. I think it firms everything up. Yeah, yeah. and Sport Plus. Basically with Sports Plus, um, in the past we've, we've generally used that when we go around racetracks. <laughs> That's what I like to use it on, but uh, it just firms everything up. Normal sports mode is enough for discreet right. and being a bit more sensible without losing your license. That's exactly right. So. It's amazing how well the assistance features actually work. It does, and uh, it's showing me on the screen where I am on the road and yeah. where the cars are around me, which is... Uh, and it's even guiding you if you're going over the lane a little bit. That's exactly right. And the augmented reality, what you get on the satellite navigation, it's pretty amazing with how it works with the cameras and the arrows. That's right, that's right. That's right. You think... Change lanes too. Mm. There we go. An E63 in the V8s. That's yeah. probably something that's going to compete with this in terms of level. This would be a good step up in a way That's right. in, into the future. That's right. So what have we learned so far about the AMG EQE 53? Not only you are embraced in a world of digital luxury, the EQE 53 offers impressive range figures and solid performance from AMG. And I don't think there is any car like it on the market that offers this combined package. So that's my video on the EQE. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next film.